What's going on guys? First off, I want to thank King Leonidas for putting me onto this jacket. If you don't know who he is, he is a YouTuber who has a crazy jersey collection, crazy sneaker, overall good dude. Thank you for putting me on this jacket. I'm finally wearing it. This thing is super dope. Today the NBA just started to release these City Edition jerseys and since I work in the San Francisco area, the Chase Center is literally like 12 minutes away from where I work. I left early and went to the Chase Center so I could go visit the Warriors team store. I was trying to look for the authentic NBA jerseys, but I came and I left with one of these bad boys. We got the Steph Curry City Edition jersey right down there. Look at that. With the 75th anniversary Nike swoosh patch, comes with the Rakuten patch, the sponsor patch, and that 75th anniversary patch. But in today's video, we're just going to take a closer... Ooh. Yo, I just kicked the hell out of that tripod. But in today's video, we're just gonna take a closer look at the jersey, look at the finer details, and see if this is something you wanna purchase yourself. So at this moment, you know, time of recording. A lot of it on Nike.com and Fanatics is sold out, but you can kind of get them elsewhere. Um, I know Fan Dick Sporting Goods, I believe, is doing pre-orders. Um, you can check if they restock, but I know for sure at the Warriors Team Store, it's an amazing looking store. They had a whole bunch of these. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. We're gonna go ahead and start off at the NBA logo. So this has a 75th anniversary patch. So the NBA logo has a 75 on it. They use a plastic material. You can see Jerry West is super shiny. When the light hits it, gives that diamond reflection, which is super dope. And then we got Steph Curry. So since it's a swingman jersey, all heat pressed nice and flush just take a look at it 30 the same way yellow base all heat pressed and you can see the Warriors actually have a black jersey this year which is super dope then we go to the bottom right corner it's gonna say dry fit so it's a little heat press piece then we could take a look at the side panel so super dope they're bringing back the Thunderbolt that they used to have in the 2000s but with a modern colorway because it used to be like orange and navy blue so they bring the warriors colorway well the current colorway to this throwback classic kind of inspired jersey so when we take a look at the collar just like the back side you're gonna have a yellow streak in the middle with the blue trim on the outside edges arm openings has the same style then when we take a look at the neck label, you can see that stitching from the NBA logo. So they moved the information off center. So this one's a large made in Honduras recycling tag. And then since I got it at the team store, it's a little more expensive just because it actually has the sponsor patch. So these go for 130 um, without the patch, but at the team store is 150. So these are cardboard material, recycled material has the information here, NBA tag. And the dope part, look at that. That Nike swoosh. Man, that's what I love about the jerseys this year. They're gonna have this diamond edition patches with the NBA logo and the Nike swoosh. Just looks so clean in the light. And it's stitched down, which is super cool. Then we got the Rakuten patch. So, heat press piece. Looks dope. I love that this sponsor patch actually blends in with the jerseys. I mean, Chime has that really ugly logo that like throws off the jersey. So this one works well. Then you got number 30, Steph Curry. So this circular piece is actually all one solid piece, all heat pressed. You can see 30, you see the Golden Gate Bridge. And then you can see like these lines kind of, um, what is that? It's supposed to represent the Oracle Arena uh, ceiling. If you've ever been to the Oracle Arena, you know what I'm talking about. But really dope piece. And then we go down to the jock tag. So you got the swing man, you got the 75 anniversary, 48, which is large. They add this little tab this year. It's a city edition. Got the Nike swoosh. And right here, so this is supposed to represent all the championships, uh, like the win loss record for the Warriors. So you got win, 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 loss, win. There you go, that's four. So it kind of just goes throughout. So when they played the, the Cavs, you can see that sweep. And then the blank one is supposed to represent the future. 
So I like that little touch that they have. Little heat press pieces on there, which is super dope. And then at the bottom, it says we believe. So it's gonna be in the inside like trim. So people won't really see it if you're wearing it, unless it kind of like flips up a little bit or it kind of like, kind of goes outward, but it says we believe all heat pressed onto it, which is a dope little detail. And then you got the little side splits on the side panel with the reinforced stitching, as you can see there. But those thunderbolts, you got it on both sides, which is a dope touch. And that right there, guys, is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So I'm 5'6", 180 pounds at the moment. I usually fluctuate in between jersey sizes. I have that weird body type. So when I'm a little more slim, I go with a medium. My t-shirt size is medium. It works out fine. When I pack on a little more weight, I like a little more relaxed fit, a little more chest room. And then it's hoodie season as well, so I can uh, layer a hoodie underneath if I go a size up. So it really depends. So I'm medium, sometimes large. But right here, we got the front of the jersey. As you can see here, you got that amazing swoosh. You got the Rakuten patch, dope logo. And then you can see right there, the little uh, championship marks. And then you got the side panel, the Thunderbolt, which is sick. You got it on both sides. Then you got the back of the jersey. You got Steph Curry. Ah, run. And that's a jersey. Honestly, I don't know how Steph runs around all game. He just runs around screens, runs through the paint, runs out, and just to get a little separation and still has the legs to get the shot up. But it is crazy and it's a ridiculous skill that I cannot knock. But right here, the jersey is pretty much your standard swingman jersey. You're gonna have heat press lettering and numbering. The little upgrades that you do get is the 75th anniversary Nike swoosh and the Jerry West logo. And then you get this awesome design because, I mean, City Editions, they change year to year. I mean, some teams keep the same ones, but it's pretty much different every year so far. And if you do get the jerseys from the team store, you'll get the Rakuten patch. If you get it at the major retailers, they will not have the patch on it. So specifically go to the team stores if you want the patch. Not everybody's a fan. It's like hit or miss. Either you like it with the patch or you don't. So it just depends. But overall, this is an amazing looking jersey. Like I said in previous videos, if you follow the channel, I'm not even a Warriors fan. That's the thing. Like, this jersey is beautiful. It gives them a dark jersey, which, I mean, last one I remember is the Chinese New Year's jerseys with the sleeves made by Adidas. But it looks sleek, and then it has all those tr like attributes of past years, that Thunderbolt, which is dope. And then, you know, throw back to Oracle. And then the whole championship one, Little details like that just make the jersey so much better. At the moment, a lot of these have been selling out. I know major retailers like Nike, Fanatics, NBA Store pretty much sold out at the time of recording. I mean, there's a couple sizes left, but the team store in the Chase Center still has a bunch of them left. Um, you know, they still haven't even released the authentic versions, which I am hunting for. So at the moment, I have no news. I asked the guys that work there, like, any word on the authentics? They don't know, Nike just says coming soon. So if you guys are interested, I mean, just hit that notification bell. So when I do find out there is the authentic version that dropped, I'm gonna just let you guys know as soon as I can. So, you know, all that good stuff. But what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you again for watching. And on to the next video.